Hello and welcome to the channel your parents, the PTA, and the asleep don't want you to hear. The Helios blog. Today, Andrew Tate exposes Russell Brand in emergency meeting. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong and independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. Speaking of men who uh, get loads and loads of pussy as much as they want and have no motive to do anything wrong but have been falsely accused, a lot of today's script for the emergency meeting is going out the window because we are going to talk about a man that you all probably know. He streams right here on Rumble. His name is Russell Brand. Now, before we actually begin this, I want to make this very clear. I don't know Russell Brand. I've never spoken to Russell Brand. I've never met Russell Brand. Russell Brand has never mentioned me. I don't think we've had any back and forth on X. Uh, don't know him at all. But I do know bullshit when I see it. This guy really sounds like Andrew. Yeah, so this is going to be an interesting emergency meeting because what I'm going to try and do is establish to all of you at home how matrix attacks work and when i do that i don't want anybody to be confused to think i'm defending russell brand because i don't know what he's done and i don't know if he's guilty or not but what i can do is decipher bullshit, call out things i can clearly see to be false talk from personal experience and explain the mechanics of a matrix attack as someone who's lived through one so everybody at home understands how something like this could easily be manufactured. And as my brother said, we're not Russell Brand fanboys or we're not here to defend him. We're not his friends. In fact, and I will say this right here without disrespecting Russell, he was a part of the establishment. He was part of the problem for a very long time. Yep. Well, that's just how it goes, right? As long as you're a useful idiot, you're wonderful. But the second you stop being a useful idiot, who turns on you? Hmm, big surprise. He was fully liberal, complete garbage, believed it all. He was peddling all the Matrix agendas. He was doing a bunch of haram shit, taking drugs and all the bunch of other things I'm morally against deep in my soul. Him and I agree on the fact that the world is controlled by a select elite. I call it the Matrix. He might call it something else. But we approach it from completely different sides. We may meet in the middle, but I approach it from this side. He approaches it from that side. And for a long time, Russell Brand himself was the establishment. So what are they saying? The enemy of the enemy is my friend. Which is actually going to be a very interesting point I'm going to come back to as we try and decipher why he has been so grievously attacked instantly and instantaneously across so many platforms in perfect sync. We're going to mention that point because it's actually quite a succinct and interesting one. However... We don't know Russell. We don't know what he's done. We don't know his past. We don't know what he was up to and all these Hollywood parties and all this other Satanist shit. Bro, the dude married Katy Perry. That's as far down the establishment as you can get. Literally. We don't know. But what I do know is that I can critically think. And as a critical thinker, I have detected some discrepancies, which I would like to highlight to the people at home that make me highly doubt he is this sexual predator that people are saying he is. I doubt it very highly. It's just like um, how they they called good old JD a, a bad guy. You know, Mr. Johnny Depp. Yeah, he's the worst. And it's not even just because of my personal experience, because I know I've done nothing wrong. When I've been through the grinder like I have, I see how they use the exact same tactics and playbook on anyone they try to attack. Big surprise. Now... If anybody's not familiar with Russell Brand, he was huge in the UK. I'm actually British. At one point, he was the most famous man in England. He was everywhere. And Since we were like 13, 14, he's been famous forever. Forever. Super duper famous. And he was fully liberal, fully left wing. He called Katie Hopkins a Nazi. In fact, Katie Hopkins did a really nice video defending him. In fact, I think we should play that at the beginning because Katie Hopkins actually in a very mature fashion did a very nice video defending him, even though she called him... He called her a Nazi at one point. She is still mature enough to stand up and say what's happening to this man is unfair. Kate Hopkins, G of the week. Kate Hopkins is a G. She is. And that's actually one of the things that you need to understand. By saying what's happening to somebody is unfair, that doesn't mean you agree with everything they say. Indeed. You don't have to agree with every word I've ever said to sit and go, Andrew clearly did not human traffic anyone because his girlfriend has a TikTok account. 
Andrew clearly is not a rapist because he doesn't need to rape anybody because he's a large, charming, rich, sexy, smart, charismatic, interesting man. You don't have Indeed. It's no, absolutely. You have to agree with everything I say to just point out the obvious. And Katie does a fantastic job of saying exactly that. We may not agree on everything, but I understand what's happening to you is unfair. And if you don't stand up for what you believe to be injustice in the world, just because you have a personal problem with one thing or two things that people say. Who, who was it that said, uh, I disagree with what you said, but I'll defend to the death your right to say it. Uh, here, right, I'll, I'll look it up. I disagree with, yeah, here. Okay, I'm finding it right now, sorry. Voltaire. Uh, reportedly originated with an English author named Evelyn Beatrice Hall. Uh, Voltaire was the pen was the pen name, so it was Voltaire. There you go. Then you're not a very good person, and that's what liberals do. Liberals will sit and say. He once said something bad that I didn't like, so he deserves to be destroyed. He deserves to have his life ruined and to rot in a cell, even if he didn't do it, because he once said something I don't like, which is the most immature- Obviously garbage, yeah. ...and pathetic stance you can hold in your life as a human. Kristen, you sprayed fly spray, and I think it's a little bit on our camera now. So? Okay, so. Anyway, this is what Kate- Hilarious. Katie Hopkins, I know you said Katie Perry there. I'm sure she says something else. This is what Katie Hopkins had to say. Wait, let me make it fit on the screen because I'm Mr. Producer. I can do that. Wait, I was going to clean the camera. You, all right, you clean the camera. Strategically, okay, cool. while you're playing the video. Cool, you do that. I'll do this. So it is early and I can barely see through my own eyes, but I thought it was important to state a few things about Russell Brand. Number one, Russell Brand always said he had sex addiction. He's written about it. He's documented it. It's something that was in his past. And he may have had more sex with more people than others, or most, but he was never trying to hide all of that. Right, and not only this, just because he said that he liked doing it doesn't mean he did it against anyone's will. There's plenty of willing partners and plenty of people that would be willing to sleep with Russell Brand. So, what, like, why would he have to resort to, to doing it with somebody that didn't want to do it with him? I can understand somebody that doesn't get any action doing that. I can't understand a person that gets as much action, action as they want, who's able to say no to whoever they want and just get a new option having to resort to that. He, he wouldn't have to. I'm sure many of the finger pointing, good and great, wouldn't. I'm sure he could walk down the street for 10 minutes and get a new option. Like all of their past dug up and put on camera either. Second, if you want to make a documentary with shocking evidence about someone you're trying to take down and you tell people they can sit in the shadows and not have to show their faces, well, you know, many people would be prepared to do that because if you can't see the person, it's also hard to see their truth, isn't it? And you'll notice that the left, the Guardian, the Olympic Committee, everybody, they loved Russell. I remember when Russell broke into my LBC radio studios to call me a Nazi. The left... That was for... 100% just for fame loved Russell at that time and they couldn't promote him more heavily they thought big surprise what he was absolutely fantastic it's not until he started spitting facts on censored <laughs> hilarious <laughs> he's not 20 years younger we have the most base children on earth anyway Katie nailed it but she says something that's very interesting there at the end I recommend you watch this stream again. Like with all my streams, you should watch them at least a hundred times to inject my brilliance directly into your mind. But she says something that's very important there. Narcissist. They will not stop unless he's swinging from a tree. They attack relentlessly and they do not stop. They will not give up. They're rabid dogs. It's ideological. It's not about rational. It's no, it's like a religion, right? You're against the religion. Now you're an infidel and we need to destroy you. They will just attack endlessly. 
Tristan, do you understand there has been an article of one form or another calling us bad people every single day since the January the 1st? It's been nine months. Every day they try and get you and I to commit suicide. Well, it started before that. It's been two years, really, of bad articles. Two years. Two years of endless attacks and smear campaigns. They have no care for the mental health of the people they attack. Nope. Unless... Of course not. Unless you're on their side. You're Hugh Edwards. You're on their team. Then you're on their team. After two days, we talk about his mental health, and he has to be let off, even though he committed an actual crime. Or Philip Schofield. Mm. The first question they asked him in interview was, how are you feeling? I remember when Lucy the Bumbaclut Williams came and sat herself in my house, disrespectfully. I allow her into my house, comes and sits down in front of me, and starts attacking me. First question, are you a rapist? Who... <laughs> Disaster. Sorry, young lady. Who raised you? She ain't that young. Literally. She ain't that young. Where'd you get your manners from? What's wrong with you as a as a person? You begged me for this interview. Every day I was in jail, you were begging me on the phone. Please make me relevant, Top G. Please give me a career. I want to ask the interesting questions like, why have you been locked up without charge? Why are the people who are supposedly victims saying they're not victims and this is all corruption? I want to ask interesting questions and sits down and says, am I a rapist? But Philip Schofield, the first question I ask is, how are you feeling? It's been a tough disaster. Tough week. It must be a tough life being a fucking predator. Worry about a week. <laughs> Bro. It's tougher as victims. Tougher as victims. If you're on their team, they leave you alone. But if you're not on their team, they attack relentlessly and ruthlessly. So she made a very important point there, which is absolutely and utterly true. And this also ties back into what I was saying earlier about the fact that he used to be the establishment. One, when he was the establishment, there were no accusations made. No accusations, no attacks. No documentaries, no exposés, no articles, nothing. The second he started to speak the truth, all of a sudden he's under attack. Do you think that is a coincidence? Not just under attack from one news outlet. Every single newspaper today, every single newspaper on the exact same day has a front page with his face on it. What a surprise. You mean the newspapers that are owned by conglomerates that are all owned by the same person? By the same company? With words like rapist, with words like predator. I wouldn't be surprised if he's suffering the same things that we went through. I wouldn't be surprised if his bank accounts are, not dis are now disappearing. I wouldn't be su surprised if his if his uh, Apple ID account, his Uber account, his Airbnb account are now being axed. If he's being depersoned from every platform you need to live as a human being, he's probably going through all of that right now as we speak. So here, I'm going to try my best. Depersoned. Like I said, I don't know this guy, and I don't know if he's innocent or not, but I'm just going to debunk what I see to be clearly a matrix attack. So we're going to start with this article here. How the Times and the Sunday, how the Times and the Sunday Times, guess they're different, investigated Russell Brand. And we have two empowered females here doing fantastic journalism, trying to ruin some man's life. Great work. Here. Our yeah, exactly. You know, who's who's being uh, portrayed as being strong and empowered and who's being portrayed as being evil and, and bad? I mean, the medium is the message, guys. Our inquiries into the comedian began in 2019. Oh, about stop the cap. About the same time he was talking about the. Censored. And you have three or four women who are accusing him. That's fine. I would like to speak to the 196 women who said he's a nice guy. I would like to have a conversation with all the people, 196, assuming it's 200, because they said hundreds. It may be 300. 296 women, this is one of the most famous men in the world, who's had a long and interesting sexual history. I would like to talk to all of the women who had an interaction with him who said he was nothing but courteous. Yeah. Wait, wait. No, we want to hear from these four women who said he did something wrong. That's fine. Ra Only the four. Rape is disgusting, and anyone who's committed a sexual crime should face the full punishment of the law. Agreed. However, I want to hear from all the hundreds of women who said he never did anything wrong, and I'll explain to you why. Respectful, consensual, because that's the words that they got. Because I know the women who were interviewed about me. I know the hundreds of women who were interviewed about me and said nothing but nice things. Wait, We've never seen them in the news. Wait, didn't why? They, didn't they contact 2,000 people who know us? Yeah. And every single person who said we're nice and did nothing wrong never got mentioned in the news ever? And Indeed. Big surprise. Because we're picking the needle in the haystack rather than the general trend.
ever. In fact, no one even said we did anything wrong besides the anonymous faceless BBC goons who we don't even think exist. Isn't that interesting? It's interesting. So when they have a narrative, what they do is they lie by omission. Remember this, this is what the media does. It lies by omission. By omitting part of the story, they can lie. They can take a very small part of the story and present it as the absolute truth because there's no counter to the story. Exactly, that's right. And by the time they release the counter, people have already made their minds up. They lie by omission. They omitted the 296, 396, 896, however many women who said they had a very nice interaction with Russell Brand. And that's important. I'm going to explain why to you. You can have the best restaurant on the planet. You can open a beautiful restaurant and you can have 400 people come and you ask everybody, is the food good? You're telling me you couldn't find three who says the food sucks? Yeah. Right, and then you take those three and you make them the primary subject of an article of which you're basing the reputation of the restaurant on. You could have 95% of people say this is the best food I ever had. But you'll always find someone who sits there and goes, oh, I didn't like those tomatoes, they were too red. And if you don't like the restaurant and there is a financial incentive to speaking out against the restaurant, you are going to embellish your story. That's you are going to tell others that you saw a rat run into the kitchen. You are going to tell others that the chef spit in your food. You are going to embellish your lie if there is a financial incentive to do so. That's enough. And there is indeed. There is financial incentive to lie for the left to lie for the matriarchy effectively another interesting point so now we have a restaurant with 400 people who've gone 396 people say the food was great four people say the food is bad and the people who say the food is bad are being encouraged financially to say the food was awful do you completely and utterly trust their story i'm not saying russell brand's not anything wrong i'm not saying that rape is okay before i get attacked by the media i'm not saying any of those things i am just saying after reading the first line the first line of the msm attack I already, with my professionalism, have serious question marks. Hundreds of people, and you're omitting all of the people who said positive things. That shows it's agenda-driven. That shows it is bias. Bottom line. Another thing I'd like to ask. What percentage of the population are psychopaths? 5%? 6%? 4, 4 or 5%. 4 or 5% of the population, according to the left-wing... Mental health statistics. Mental health statistics owned by the Matrix, the people who love to push depression, all this garbage on you, they will tell you that 4 to 5% of people you meet are psychopaths who have no concern for anybody else's well-being and only care about themselves. Okay, so if that's the case, then why wouldn't those people who don't care about anyone but themselves not be incentivized to lie for their own gain? Meaning by extension, if you ask 200 women a, a story, 10 of them are going to be psychopathic. They're not going to give a shit who the, whose life they destroy if they can benefit for a couple hundred quid. They're psychopaths. They don't care. That by extension, that's your own statistics. And they've come up with what? Two, four girls? Allegedly. Allegedly. Four actresses telling four stories allegedly based on real victims. Bro. Wait, that what? So they're not the real victims. They're people pretending to be the victims. I don't understand. And we add the new level. Imagine this. We have a restaurant. 400 people come. 396 say it's good. Four people say it's bad. They say, go to the manager and say the food's bad. They say, I don't want to go to the manager. I don't want to show my face that the food's bad. They say, okay, we'll pay you money to tell a story to an actress who will pretend to be you to tell the manager the food was bad. Disaster. 10 years after you even eat. 10 years after you left the restaurant. You think, <laughs> oh my Lord. They wouldn't say yes. Well, I ain't gonna do anything. All right, cool. Yeah, the food was bad. Bro, here's no, the story. One text message, act it up. Bro, joke ting, joke ting. So you know does, what? And that's after, this is after line one. This is the first line of their investigation. Line one. I'm already th sitting here going, hmm, this is suspicious. It's been a very long time. Why, when he was in the establishment, nobody came forward? Because he wasn't doing anything bad, that's why. Nothing appeared. Big surprise. And I'll tell you why. I believe, personally, that Russell Brand started this fight. Russell Brand is not an innocent victim. Because just like us, he started the fight against the Matrix by telling the truth. 
He punched first. Mm. Russell, you punched first, my G. Good for you, though. You punched first. You stood up and said, all of this stuff about the is a lie. And you punched first. And now they're punching back. You started the fight, and now they're attacking you. So you're not, it's not unprompted. You prompted it. And I'm not saying that's the wrong thing to do. You poked the bear. You poked the bear. And now the bear is coming for you. And if anyone doesn't know how he poked the bear, I'll show you right here how he poked the bear. It's very obvious. Look at this. Wait, Mr. Producer. Let me Mr. Producer it. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, yes. Out of respect for you and your show, <laughs> I've brought some facts. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> if you like. Oh, that... that was funny. Actually. You just, you just get the fuck <laughs> out of here. This thought... is not the place. Well, you know, like... <laughs> that was funny. No, no, I, we do. No, we like but, facts. I love facts. I wouldn't have mentioned it. I'm English, and you know that politeness is our fundamental religion. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but they do pertain to this issue. So may I say something? Please, please, if they please inconvenience do. you, I I, I'll stop saying them. <laughs> Censored. Hilarious. Before the liberal MSM go nuts and attack us and have a meltdown, I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm not saying that he didn't do anything wrong. What I am saying is that so far it has been biased and that there have been lies by omission. I have said that if you interview hundreds of people, you can find any viewpoint you want, especially if you spend four years, 2019, and travel the globe and speak to hundreds and hundreds of people, you can find, you'll, if I traveled the world- You'll find an uncaring psychopath who doesn't mind crapping on some celebrity they don't even know for $200. Since 2019, speaking to hundreds of people, I could find someone who says the moon landing's fake. I could find somebody who says the world is flat. I could find somebody who says the sky is green. And if 286 or 296 people say the sky is blue and three people say the sky is green, that's not proof that the sky yep. is green. Exactly. That's the point I'm making. Yup. That's right. That's the point. So I want to make that very clear to people. Accurate. Next thing. I want people to, like, I'm just thinking critically. I'm not sticking up for the dude. I don't know this man. We don't know him. I don't know him. And he didn't come out to defend us. He didn't come out to defend us. Yeah, bro. We went to jail for this garbage. He didn't say a word in our defense. Not one word. They, and I tweeted, first they're going to come for us. And none of you are going to say anything. You're next. I told everybody. And everyone's like, ah, Tate's too big. He has a big mouth. He probably did something wrong. I haven't done anything wrong in my life. Literally. Well, you know. What, what's the what's the expression? If you let the police drive behind you long enough, they're going to find a broken taillight? Yeah. I don't need to do anything wrong. I don't that, need to do anything wrong. Let's talk about that as well. Let's talk about motive. Because when it comes to sexual crimes, I, I have to say, every single crime in the world, motive is always analyzed. Motive is analyzed for thievery. Motive, motive is analyzed for murder, fraud, everything. Besides sexual crimes, sexual crimes, a lack of motive is never, ever taken into account. So I am actually accused of financial crimes. I want everyone here to know I'm not accused of, of raping anybody. I'm accused of exploiting people for my own financial gain. Now, this is laughable and it's comedic, just as if you were to say Tristan stole $1,000 from somebody because... The TikTok creator fund is very, very small. There's no financial records in my file. But also, I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars. It doesn't make any sense when you take a financial crime and say, he is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. There is four people in a line. One of them stole food, and we're going to find out who it was. Is it these three well-fed millionaires, or is it the starving guy? Now, when it comes to sexual crimes, and I'm not saying handsome, good-looking, rich men don't do bad things, because... Jeffrey Epstein wasn't bad looking, yeah. and that guy was an animal, and so were all of his friends, who, they, who, know, who, by, who, by the way, aren't ever in the news. No, 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 no. no. They, they exposed. Well, yeah, because they're part of the Matrix. So, what could be wrong about them? They exposed his client list, bro. Don't you know that they they exposed his client uh -huh. list? Uh huh. Along along with when they did Hugh Edwards, that real that real funny. But let me tell you something. Every woman I've ever met in my life loves Russell Brand. Absolutely loves him, adores him. Think he's funny, charming, handsome. He may not be everybody's type, but I'm telling you, that man he's does not need. Type to force himself on women no more than I need to kidnap somebody or I need to exploit somebody for money. Motive right. is never ever taken into account because of exceptions. Ted Bundy, charming, handsome, psychopathic murderer. Exceptions don't disprove the rule. Let me tell you something, you sent me to fucking jail. You sent me to jail and I saw criminals. I saw rapists. I saw real human traffickers. I saw real sexual predators. And they didn't look like me and they didn't look like fucking Russell Brand either. To throw away Dude. your entire career as England's most famous man 
funniest, most well-respected, most hilarious comedian to throw it away by committing a crime that merits 25 years plus in jail. You would deserve that if you did these things is unthinkable. So indeed. Yeah, he right. He has too much to lose. I find it very hard to believe. And I will actually add in there that they should take motive into account when it comes to some of these crimes. Yeah, it's the liberals who can get no girls. They're the fucking predators. Yeah. Not the big G's. Anyway, back to, and that's a very valid point. And back to my original point I was going to make, I was going to ask everybody. And like I said, I'm not defending his innocence. I'm just thinking critically. Question. And this is one thing that people hate because when I think, because this is the thing. So far, if I was discussing. Critical thinking, bad, bad man. No, no. No logic. Emotions only. Andrew. Emotions only this with one feminist pro, pro left and russell believe all women russell's bad blah, blah, blah. i say have they lied by omission no yes they have mm -hmm. i've just explained to you how they've done that i've just explained to you how they can say the sky is green i've just explained to you how they can say the world is flat they've lied by omission i've just explained it to you why are you confused are a percentage of the people on the earth psychopaths how many people lie what percentage of people lie 100 dr house everyone lies percent Cool. And now we're asking hundreds of people the question, why are they not mentioning anyone who stuck up for him ever? Like these are. Yeah. Enough said. All right. We're going to end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian Otoma, and Bobby. Shout outs to you, most recent Patreon subscriber. Go buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Shout outs to Curry Kid, most recent purchaser of Strategist Guide to Deduction. Thank you. If you're interested in coaching, just send me an email at thehandiestblog at gmail.com. All right, guys. That's it for now. Thank you so much for listening, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.